Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a kill star haul, but before we get to that remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss any of the things that come up in this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, kill star haul, it was a big kill star haul, they had their May Day sale. And there have been a few things that haven't been on any of the sister websites, any of the other clothing websites that sell Killstar. I only buy it from Killstar when I can't buy it from anywhere else. Uh, I Because I'd had quite a few points racked up as well, you got the 20% off because of the May Day, and then I also had a 15% off. So it was definitely worth me doing a bit of a big order. But I think Killstar's customer service sucks, quite frankly. So I don't buy my Killstar from Killstar unless I have to, uh, because they are absolutely bloody useless at returns. So I just would much rather buy them from somewhere else and get free return shipping and get a confirmation email to say thank you that your parcel has been received, we're processing it, and then to get my money back rather than having to argue to get a refund, which is UK law. Drives me potty. So there's my little gripe about Killstar's website themselves, but never mind. But, thankfully, I placed this order, this beautiful package turned up, as you can see, the lovely Killstar packaging. I don't normally get it in Killstar packaging, because I normally buy it from Kate, but uh, here's the beautiful Killstar packing. I think this is new, newer than the last lot I got. I'm sure the last lot I got had the Grim Reaper and stuff on it. Um, and it turned up, and I have quickly got everything out, tried it on later, it fits, I haven't got to send anything back. Luckily I don't have to, thank God, because I did not want to have to go through the stress of that. So I thought I would show you a few things. So, the first item that I got is the Gothic necklace. So it's this pretty darkened silver, they call it. So it's not silver, it's a metal alloy. I'll show you against the little bag. There you are. It's a nice little sort of cathedral window type detail on it. It's very, very pretty. It sits about the same length as the necklace that I'm wearing right now. It doesn't have an obstacle or clasp on it though. It has one of these. Look. Oh, one of these. You poke that through the little ring. Which might work better, might not. I haven't worn it for an extended amount of time yet. It's very pretty, it's different, it's got little details in it. It says Killstar Occult Luxury all around the, the little circle, if you can see that. Not sure if you can see it in the light. No, no I can't get it in focus, but it does say Killstar Occult Luxury all around the little circle here. And this is very pretty. Again, it's so tiny, it's very difficult to show you. Um, it's a very pretty necklace. Um, it's nothing to shout about though, you know. I like it, but I'm not gonna be running around going, oh my God, this is the nicest thing ever. It's pretty. I wanted something that was a bit like this, but wasn't shiny silver. So it's ticked all my boxes. I'm pleased with it. I like the little black detailing on it. It's, it's cute. Again, I'm glad I got a discount on it. I'd be a little bit miffed at the, um, the full price, but I, I'm pleasantly, you know, pleasantly pleased with it. So the next item is the Killstar Rosary Necklace. Now, this really is beautiful. It's extremely long. It looks fantastic with a long top, or if I just pop it on now. See, it's great, it's really long. It looks fantastic with um, my Necessary Evil um, circle dresses. They're sort of cape dresses with huge arms. Um, but I wore this to the supermarket and inevitably, because it is ridiculously long, it got caught on the trolley. And this whole section, it pulled apart the ring here and it unraveled this ring here. Now luckily, again, I have jewelry making equipment I could fix it. It didn't take me very long. But the metal is so soft. I mean, I don't know whether they've done that so that you can reshape it. 
But I wasn't hugely impressed. For the price, I, I, I think it's nice, but it's nothing to shout about, you know? But I wanted something in, again, this darkened silver that was long, that I could wear with my my long line tops and long line jumpers, etc. Um, because sometimes I don't want to wear my silver moon or my silver Marilyn Manson um, symbol or my silver pentagram. I wanted something that was a bit more darkened. So I am pleased with this, but I think the materials it's made out of are a little bit cheap, which is a shame because all my, my polished silver ones are really, really beautiful. Um, I just think recently they've kind of cheapened out a little bit on their jewellery. I know um, on our Kill Stars Addicts Anonymous group on Facebook, which links there at the end of the video and in the description box below, um, a lot of people ordered the earring version of this. So it's essentially this bit on an earring. I mean, I would have ordered them because they are beautiful, but I can't wear earrings. My ears just reject earrings. Um, so it's just this bit on an earring. Um, and a lot of people posted pictures of it that the post had broken off or something, which is just not on, really. Um, you know, surely their quality control should have picked that up. So, you know, those are nice, but I'm not, you know, running around screaming at how amazing they are. Right. So, the next items that I got are these. Here's the Savina Suspender Belt and the Athena Choker, because they kind of go together. So this is the suspender belt. I will put some pictures up of me in it in a minute. It goes around there. It's really beautiful. I'm really impressed with the hardware on it. Seems really nice. The vegan leather is soft and good quality. Really good quality buckles on it. Lovely chains. The chains are detachable here at the front, so they're on clasps that you can take off uh, and at the back where they clasp up at like your, the small of your back that actually this whole piece here is completely removable with poppers so you can unclip them at the front remove this and just wear it as a belt which is great I really like the versatility of that however I'm a UK I'm a solid 10 at the moment I can only do it up on the second to last hole so if you're a 10 to 12, you might just be able to get it on the last hole. If you're anything, you're probably even just a solid 12, you're going to struggle to do this up. And I'm sorry, but Killstar, come on, at least do it in two sizes if you're going to do that. Because, I mean, what are you, you're basically alienating probably more than 50% of your clientele. I know in the UK the average size is 16, so I suspect that more of your clientele are a size 14 or over than are under a size 14. And you're alienating them all. I mean, I wear an extra small or a small in Killstar, and I'm on the last to, second to last hole. Oh, come on! But it's absolutely beautiful. It looks magnificent. And... It looks magnificent with this Athena choker. I bought them because they, they literally match. Really impressed again with the quality on this. The, the hardware is absolutely beautiful. It's got this lovely little chain that hangs down here. It's really, really soft on the underside. The one thing is that normally with handbags and stuff, if, if you're always given the option of leather or vegan leather, I would always go for leather because it lasts so much longer. Than vegan leather but the vegan leather chokers are really soft on your skin and I've come on my leather chokers that I bought you know a few years ago they went moldy which was gross really gross really 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 gross <coughs> so yeah I like the vegan leather ones they don't seem to yeah do that again beautiful hardware look really lovely little clasps but again come on killstar i can only do this up on the last hole it's ridiculous look you know i mean it fits very well on the last hole i'm not you know uncomfortable but again if i'm a solid uk 10 that means anybody with a wider neck than me and yeah okay you know, I might have a bit of a thicker neck than most, I don't really know. But 
It's ridiculous. I shouldn't be on the last hole. It just, it kind of baffles me a bit that they're alienating a large quantity of their clientele. But I am not Killstar. They can do as they please. As you can see in the trial, they do look magnificent. My husband did say, Christ, a bit dominatrix, which yes, it is, but uh, you, you only live once. I'm as young as I am ever going to be. I am never going to be younger than I am today. Why the hell not? Wear the crazy thing, buy the crazy harness, wear it, strut your stuff, because I'm only going to regret it when I'm 80 if I didn't, you know. <laughs> so, why not? So, the next things that I bought, I bought the Bite Me Fishnet Bolero and the Hellraiser Fishnet Top. Again, I've wanted these for ages. They don't seem to be available in many other places. And with the 20% off and then the 15% off, I couldn't really not, really. You know, I've been wanting them for ages because I think they'll just go brilliantly under so many different tops and stuff like that. And I've seen quite a lot of other people's reviews. And they did say that it seems to be a really good quality fishnet. And obviously, you know, you can make the sort of Bolero style ones out of, like this is, out of, um, yeah, this is Bolero, yeah, out of a pair of tights. But they're uncomfortable. You have to try and safety pin them if you don't cut the hole in exactly the right place. After a while, you get like a chafing under your arm, armpit and stuff. This I wanted because it's finished in the right places so it will stay put. You know, I like to look polished. I don't like to look, when I was 16, I loved looking disheveled and grungy and, you know, it, it especially, cut, I think, because it annoyed my mother that I didn't look polished and nice. You know, she wanted me to look nice and that was the last thing I wanted. But now I'm in my mid thirties. I want to look nice. I want to look a bit polished because, uh, you know, I'm past that kind of looking like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards because that's kind of cool. I want to look, when I go to the school gates, I want them all to be like, oh, but at the same time, but she looks nice with it, you know? So this is the bolero. And then this is the top. Again, I thought the top would be great under quite a few of my dresses. There's quite a few of my dresses that I like to wear with a mesh top. I also thought it would be nice sometimes to wear them with a fishnet top. And I have a longer fishnet, well, it's a fishnet dress. So exactly the same as the fishnet dress that I probably bought about 15 years ago in Anne Summers. But it is still going strong. It still looks great. It's the same quality of mesh. I mean, if it ever dies, I will probably replace it with the Killstar one. But why buy one when I've already got one? Here we go same deal but again it's a really lovely quality fishnet it does feel like a really really good quality fishnet um and that will look great under so many different dresses and tops etc always a good way to finish an outfit with a little bit of fishnet right and the final thing that i ordered is this dress the vicky vale skater dress here we go now, I have tried this on to make sure it fitted, because I, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise I was going to have to film this even quicker so that I could then uh, send it back, have a grumble with you and then send it back. But, I love this dress. This dress has been in the discounted range at Killstar for ages. It's quite an old season dress. But because, um, like I've said in a few of the other videos, I've been on holiday, my tummy's gone a little bigger than I would like. Um, I wanted some summer dresses that really skimmed across my tummy rather than being very bodycon which a lot of my wardrobe is so that when you're having one of those days where you feel a bit bloated or whatever I can just slip this on and know that I, f I look awesome uh, but also I can wear it with one of the fishnet tops on underneath in the winter or with a mesh top underneath in the winter or just put a cardigan on in the winter if I so want but I basically wanted a few more summer style skater dresses and this was ridiculously cheap because it was in the clearance and then it had another 20% off and then the 15% off that I had. So I couldn't really not, you know, that's basically how I justified it to my husband. Um, and it's beautiful. It's a similar print to the dress that I'm wearing. Um, but so this has got a baphomet on the front here. Um, and then it's got loads of um, like, it's got hexagrams, it's got moons, it's got all sorts candles and vipers and ram skulls and stars of david and all sorts it's really difficult though for me to get them all there you are, in the frame but it's this black on black 
which I love, absolutely love it. Look, there's a sigil of Lucifer. Love it, love this dress. It's absolutely magnificent. It looks really good. Uh, I got this in a small. I am, uh, at the moment, I'm a UK 10. Uh, I'm normally a UK 8 to 10. Uh, I did Uminara about getting it in an extra small, but I decided that I wanted something that was comfortable and possibly a little bit loose once I've lost the, the little bit of weight that I'm still working on. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Really, really pleased with it. It's a beautiful dress and it, it looks fantastic on, as you can see. So yes, thrilled with that. So that was my May Day, uh, May Day Killstar haul. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Let me know of the different what you think about the different items. Let me know what you think about Killstar's customer service recently. Are you still buying from them or are you, you know, gone off them a bit? I must admit I did a trust pilot survey the other day because I was so peed off with their service. Um, but let me know what you think. Remember to like this video, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me which was your favourite item. Tell me what you bought in the May Day sales because I know a lot of you have been buying. <laughs> There's been lots of posts on the Killstar Addicts Anonymous group. I would love to share it with you guys. Uh, remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of those who do already subscribe. You are greatly appreciated. Hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.